What's up you guys? Welcome back to bry 2 j Presents. I'm your host, bry 2 j and today I'm presenting to you Alan the Alien from Invincible, the animated series on Prime. This figure is brought to you in part by Diamond Select Toys, and I want to thank Diamond Select for sending me out this product sample to review to uh, show you guys Alan the Alien. So, with that being said, let's take a look at our good friend Seth Rogen, uh, Alan the Alien. And here's Alan the Alien, and I have to say that this figure really stands out and looks really great. The colors pop, uh, matte where it needs to be matte, glossy where it needs to be glossy, but it's not overly shiny like certain figures of late. Um, really, really cool. Um, Alan is the alien that uh, Seth Rogen voiced beautifully on Invincible, and it's the new friend to Invincible uh, that he met. I want to say it's like the first couple episodes into this series. Uh, it's been a while, so forgive me if I'm uh, misremembering. Please comment down below and let me know. Uh, I do need to go back and rewatch the series, though, because season two is coming soon. Um, so let's just quickly show you a size comparison. Here he is next to Duplicates, and then Omni-Man, and Invincible. So the scale is pretty well done. Uh, let's get all these guys out of frame here and just focus on Alan. Uh, I did speak about it on the duplicate video. Yes, he, uh, she does come with stickers, so you can change up her numbers on the figures and army build this thing and really fantastic, again, Diamond Bravo. So let's get the Kates out of the way here. So this figure is really really cool i do like the way he looks i do like the uh just it just pops man it just comes right out of the animated series um i want to say is a there's a barbell joint in here just like the um the other figures uh he can look down that far back that far there is some side to side you can get him look all curious and whatnot um pretty pretty cool uh, the arms can go out that far. You can have it rotate all the way around. This little cut uh, collar piece does not uh, hinder anything. Um, he does have a swivel at the shoulder, single jointed elbows, and what's really cool is that there's no real need to heat up this figure. Uh, he came out pretty solid right out of the box for full possibility. Um, swivel and hinge at the wrists. He does have really good torso articulation, side to side, can only go back that far. Crunch is decent. No waist articulation, but we are uh, known, uh, well, Diamond is known for that, which is fine, because you can get him to pose in all the proper ways. I do wish there was a uh, waist swivel on these figures, but beggars can't be choosers. We have great figures in front of us, and uh, as a kid, growing up collecting action figures um, with five points this is huge for me being one that uh you know likes action figures to this day um so and you guys know what i'm talking about so he can uh kick out about or kick sideways about that far forward about that far back only that far there is some uh thigh cut and a single jointed knee and then beautiful ankle rocker and uh hinge there so he does have really good range of motion there. Um, and all in all, just a really cool figure. Now let's talk about his accessories. So Alan does come with this display base here. Um, all right, there is a hole in the back of the figure. So this will be to help you uh, hold the figure in place since he's kind of big. Although he's standing pretty well on my base right now, but pretty cool stand. Uh, if you want to use it, use it. If not, it's up to you, but it's great that they do include this. He does have a bowl of alien food, and my god, I just noticed this now. It It's called alien food because there's actual little aliens in this. There's faces. Oh, that's pretty... That's brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, so, yeah. Really cool. He does have this, uh, what is it, a planet scanner. Let me pull up uh, this proper info on 
Uh, yeah, planetary scanner according to Big Bad Toy Star. So that is pretty cool too. And it looks animated, which is nice. Um, he does come with three sea squids. So two with the uh, with the tentacles, um, you know, out and floating, uh, a little bit posed differently. I think, yeah, one is a little bit more stretched than the other. And then one that uh, the tentacles are closed. And these look really good. Uh, I like these. Um, he does come with an alternate head with more of a dumbfounded grin. So that's pretty cool. Let's get that alternate head on there. Wow, yeah, came off really simple. And then this pops that on like so. Uh, he does come with a couple of different alternate hands too. So two, four, six, eight, ten different pairs of hands. So you got uh, a couple of uh, points. Um, then you got some fists. Uh, you do have a couple of like choking or gripping hands. Um, pair of like open relaxed hands. And then this pair of like action hands. So Alan the Alien comes with a decent amount of articulation as well as accessories. Uh, solid figure. I really enjoy it. I'm happy to add Alan the Alien to my Invincible collection. I will be collecting the rest of this line because they really stand out above and beyond. Um, so yeah, really solid figure. Again, thank you again, Diamond Select, for sending me out this product sample. I love this line, uh, and I cannot wait for the second season of Invincible. Despite it being in two parts, but I get it. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Uh, yeah, definitely pick this figure up if you see him. Uh, a couple of comic shops or order him online, your call. But, uh, he's definitely worth owning and having in your collection if you're a fan of the series, the figure line, uh, all of the above. All right, guys, uh, you can check me out on bright2jpresents.com. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can check us out on innercitygeeks.com. I'm sorry, innercitygeeks.net. Dot net. Dot net. Um, and, uh, of course, um, just keep it real. Keep collecting. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. Hopefully very soon. Because I miss this. I love this. I breathe this. And um, thank you guys for uh, sticking around throughout my hiatus. So you guys rock. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.